And this is a poll I put up on YouTube. Uh, can you learn enough from YouTube to repair residential HVAC systems? And it was pretty down the middle, actually. Uh, I want to use residential because I wanted to kind of imply that they were more simple systems. Uh, so do you think that if you just started watching YouTube after, I don't know, a month, you could fix your AC if it felt within reason? You're not brazing stuff together, maybe like electrical failure. I think 100%. 100%. Yeah. I think customers do all the time. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Too. Homeowners, not not customers, right? DIYers. Yeah. Uh, the good DIYers. Yeah, I think so, too. I think uh, outside of the refrigerant circuit, they could probably do most of the stuff uh, with just a little bit of studying. But, you know, we're mechanically inclined is while we're in the field anyway. So we can say that knowing how our minds work, but some of these people, they're going to die. Actually, a uh, quick story on that. Um, do you know, are you uh, familiar with Dustin Cole? I am somewhat, yeah. So he was telling me a story. He had a service or he had a customer call him. They wanted to buy a capacitor from him after hours. And the customer went over to his house and bought the capacitor. He explained to him he had to, you know, turn off the power, discharge it, whatever else. Um, later on, he found out. He got a call, a service call from the same house. It was his wife or mother or whatever. The dude died. The disconnect was bypassed and the dude died. He it's not funny, but he died. No, no, it's changing the capacitor. And Dustin went out and ran the ran a service call on the same system the guy got killed on. So, so oh my gosh. So how badly did that affect him? Did he feel responsible for it? I mean, I know he didn't cause the guy to want to do that, but I'm just saying, did he carry that with him for a while? Or he, what? he said it. He, he he felt terrible about it. He I mean, he obviously he didn't charge the lady to fix it. I don't know if she was aware that it was the same guy or what. Um, I don't really remember all the details, but yeah, he felt awful about it. He don't don't go over there and bring it up. Yeah. I don't know if you knew this, but he talked to me right before. Like, I, <laughs> I sold him so. the capacitor. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's my sticker on there. He called me. Yeah, yeah that that's horrible. I, I've I've never heard of a story where there's that direct link like that. I know people work on their own stuff. <laughs> like, call it. Do you, would you even advise somebody of that? No, I don't. I don't. I refuse to even entertain the phone conversation of selling somebody a a part. You know what I mean? It's like no, it's not. I'm not going to sit around and wait for you. I have other things to do to, you know, sell to you for 50 bucks or whatever. I don't know. Right. That's tough. Yeah. You say strangers call. That's easy. But And your family's in the business. My family's in the business. What if you had like a cousin call you? Just tell me how to fix it, man. It's fine. <laughs> it's like, no, I can't do that, man. I can't do it. Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> Okay, I don't, you always know when that conversation's happening because you get like the phone call from the relative that you haven't talked to in two years or your friend that you haven't yeah. seen since high school. Like, hey, how you doing? What's new? <laughs> hey, my well, air conditioner's broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I, I know in a couple of cases I've cut people a lot. I didn't cut them off in a rude way, but they would say, how's it going? I was like, is AC not working, huh? <laughs> be like, yeah, yeah, we got a problem. It's running all the time now. It's still not cool inside. Yep. Yeah. The outside unit's going, but, but. Nope, I'll be over there. Yeah, that's, that's tough. It's, it's tough dealing with people like that because, you know, there's a couple of times when yeah, I'd be like, yeah, you can probably fix it. Go on out there. You, you got this. You got this. Don't blame me for nothing.